Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to talk about getting you started writing your first Java program using NetBeans. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to do this, we're going to need to download two things. We're going to need the NetBeans IDE, and we're also going to need to have the Java development kit. So we'll start off by downloading the Java development kit, the JDK. And to do this, you can just use your favorite search engine, search for Java SDK. You can see that at the top comes up um, for Java's website or Oracle's website. And then from there, you can click on the Java downloads link. And we're gonna do Java Development Kit 21. And this is what you need. It contains like the compiler and all of the different Java libraries, as well as, you know, runtime environments. So this is what you need to develop your Java programs. Okay, so I'm using a Windows machine. So we'll click on Windows. You can see that there's support for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the installer here. That's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to download it into a folder that I had set up for this video. And then from there, I'm just going to go and open it up when it's done downloading. And then I'm going to run it. And then as soon as that installer starts up, then you will be able to uh, select where you want to place the development kit. Okay. And so when you see that, you can just click next and then place it wherever you would like it to go. I'm gonna put this in a different folder on my machine. I'm gonna put this like on my F drive, but you can put it wherever you want. And then once you've done that, you can select next and then it's gonna do its thing. And once that's done, you can go ahead and hit close and you'll know that your Java development kit is ready to go. So then the next thing we need to do is we need to go and download NetBeans itself and we will search for NetBeans and it says, welcome to Apache NetBeans. We'll click on that. And then we'll click on the download button. And again, I'm using uh, Windows here. So I'm gonna select the download for Windows here. So I'm just gonna use uh, the Windows version because that's the platform that I'm on. Okay, and so from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the top link there. I'm gonna put it in my demo folder. And then once it's done downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the installer, find where you placed it on your machine and then you can just get it started installer will begin so you'll have a window that looks just like that and I'm going to go ahead and click this customize button okay so I'll just go ahead with the standard install options here so I'll click next accept the terms because otherwise we're done and then I'm going to put this also on my f drive because that's where I want it but you can put it wherever you want and I'm going to uncheck this because I don't like Checking for updates to be automatically happening in the background. That's just preference thing. You can leave it on if you like. And then we'll start the install. Okay, so once that's done, you can click the finish button and we'll be ready to roll. So now we'll go find the NetBeans IDE in our start menu. And it's going to be in a folder called Apache NetBeans. And then you can click on the icon for that. And that's going to start the uh, ID. Yep. Okay, so once that's finished, we're sitting here at the uh, IDE window for an empty project. Okay, once we get here at this window, we'll go ahead and click on this icon that looks like a folder here. And that's going to cause us to have a new project window open. We're going to go with the default. We'll just select Java application. We'll click next. Then we have to name our project something. So I'll just name this uh, demo. And then we have to place it somewhere on our hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and place it in a temporary directory that I had set up for this demo. But you can place it wherever you want. Okay. Once we're done with that, we'll leave the rest of this stuff um, by default. And then we'll click finish. And that'll finish setting up our project for us. Okay, and so you can see here that we're, we're ready to go. So we've got our text editor window here, and here's where we can type all of our code. And you can see that I already kind of did a hello world thing for us here, but um, there we go. This is our main class here, and this is the main method of our main class. If we want to compile and run this thing, then we go up here at the very top, and we select run project, and then that will compile and run our program for us. And so the output window you can see is down here at the bottom. You can see that we've got the hello world uh, output here and that's a result of the system out.printline 
uh, right here. Down here, this is the navigator that shows you the different um, class names and functions and all of all of that. So you've got, uh, you know, the class demo, that's this right here. You've got a constructor, even though we didn't write one, there's one implicitly created in there. And then we've got our um, main function, which is kind of like the main function for C++, okay? All right, now, if you were a student of mine and you needed to turn in a homework assignment, that's a really easy way of doing this. And that is uh, to come up here under File, and then you click on that, and then you can scroll down here to where it says Export Project to Zip. Okay, pop-up window comes up, asking you where you want to save it, place it somewhere easy to find, uh, maybe you want to put it on your desktop. Maybe you want to put it, you know, wherever. So I'm going to just put it on my desktop uh, in that Java demo folder that I created just for this. And we're going to name it uh, demo.zip. And we'll click save. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and click our export button right here. And then that's going to store it. The zip file is going to create a zip file that contains all of the source code files from your project here in that folder. And so if you're a student of mine, this is what you would be uploading and you can then go to wherever that folder was, wherever you placed it. And I put it on my desktop in a folder called Java demo. And so you can see right here, this is the file that you would actually upload. So I can take that file once you've uploaded it to Canvas, and then I can use the import function, which is right there, import project. And then I can say from zip, and then I can grade your homework that way. Okay. So that's everything you need to know to get started uh, writing Java programs using NetBeans. As usual, if you're a student of mine, you have any questions, hit me up on email through Canvas or stop by my online Zoom office hours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.